Stephen and Carolyn, I had the chance to talk to that woman tonight. Like you said, of course, she's still shaking up. She's at home right now recovering. She has a busted lip, a knot on her head, and she has no idea when she's going to go back to work. I know. I keep seeing flashes of that little boy in my face, you know, tell me to, you know, give me my, give me whatever I got. I just still have flashbacks of that. Right now, I just she did not want to be identified, but the 48-year-old Detroit 911 dispatcher on the phone with us tonight, thankful she wasn't seriously hurt. Surveillance video shows four teenagers attacking Robert Tuesday night as she was going to work, her same routine for the last year or so. She tells us she just hit the button at the gate and had been waiting for it to open when they jumped her. I'm still shaking right now. That's why I'm not going back no time soon right now. I'm still shaking up right now. Investigators say they have identified these four teenagers who they believe followed her as she got off the bus. Other dispatchers we talked to tonight say they have serious concerns about their safety at the facility on Linden, claiming the guard booth is rarely manned, also claiming they have made these issues known for years. Police say the area is secure and well lit, but will look into any adjustments. We're taking a look at our security protocols, but the incident happened outside of the facility, uh, unfortunately too close to the facility, uh, but we are uh, looking at making improvements. We need to have somebody out at the security booth now, at least, at least for the night shift especially. Because I think if someone was at the booth, it probably it would never happen like that. We're glad that she's okay tonight. She was robbed of her cell phone and some other belongings. As for police, you heard them there talking about safety protocols and some improvements, but they wouldn't talk exactly about what would be done. For now, we're live in Detroit. Aaron Baskerville, 7 Action News. Aaron